Alright everybody, I'm back at it again with the Minecraft. I don't know why I'm doing this, but I'm back at it again with the Minecraft. As you can see we have a very, very big hole. Big, big hole. Big hole. Bigger than the word big hole. I know that's not a real word. Maybe it is actually. Destruction never had to happen. But I didn't know it was so I did it. Smart move. How did these polar bears get out? They y'all better not. Okay, good. Yeah, don't don't touch the memorial. Y'all touch the memorial. Y'all dead. go nigga where'd he go y'all i think i lost my dog yo i think i lost my wolf wolf i think i lost my wolf wolf this is not good man this is not cool i lost my wolf wolf fuck them cats down there my man i just lost my wolf wolf who this who the hell is you He got a little bit of white on him. He's a little white. I can see it. I can see it. Don't look at me like that. How did I get a did I get a chicken out of that? That nigga fat. He was obese. He deserved it. No wonder why the, the obese guy is so high. Like we got bunnies over here. He was like, oh, shit, man, look at this one. And this one had a steak. A steak. What is this cheese? I'll let you know. You can live too. But your ass don't die. You gave me a look. You gave me see that one's smart. You didn't give me a look, but you gave me a look. I don't like that. Mm -hmm. Don't you don't don't try to no, don't try to act like I'ma get confused, like I'ma forget which one. Nah. That don't happen. And if it does happen, then you just cost your friend to death at the same time. Is that my wolf wolf? Puppy! 
Is this Marble Fourth? This ain't Marble Fourth. Ah, but I like Where's my dog, bro? I had a dog. I swear, I had a dog. I had a wolf wolf. And it's not here. I don't like that. Where the hell did my dog go? Wait, I think my dog died. I'm gonna have to make another memorial. I'm gonna have to make a fake memorial. I found, oh, we got horses. We got horses. I'll let you guys live. Y'all cool. Your horse is cool. I let that chicken live too, because I like chicken. Okay, okay. Um, what was I gonna do? Oh yeah, I was gonna do some fucked up shit. That's what I was gonna do. All right, all right, all right. So what we need? Let's go to a place where the land. How do I? Oh yeah, I gotta double tap. Let's go. Let's do it right. Right here, let's do it right here where I can see my house. Yeah, this is a good spot, this is a good spot. Okay. Let's make it, let's make it nice. Yeah. Lengthy, I guess, if that makes any sense. I know, I just said lengthy. Also, unless Ronald comes back, bulls are gonna blow it. Bulls had it, I honestly, I'm not even gonna lie. I, like, I wasn't really, like, at the beginning of the season, like, and, like, during, like, once the playoffs started, like, even after the first two games, I was, like, for sure the Celtics' first CD win. And then I saw the Bulls playing, I was, like, and then I, like, I didn't say it to, like, Dylan or anything, but, like, low-key, like, I actually kind of thought they would win. But I think the Bulls, honestly, I'm not a Bulls fan, but let me tell you something, I think the Bulls got a curse. If Rondo doesn't come back and they lose, Bulls got a curse. Listen, that Fred Hoiberg and... Packs and stuff. Listen, that's all bad. Don't get me wrong, but y'all got a curse or something. Y'all, nobody go down like that. Even, you know, it's it's not like when the Warriors blew a three-one lead. You know, they still had stars. It's not like Ronald just became the one star all of a sudden. But I don't know. I think y'all got a curse. Y'all have a curse. Y'all y'all pulling off some Orlando Magic shit. And don't get me wrong. I'm not happy about that Serge Ibaka trade, but. Listen, firing Rob Hannigan has been one of the best moves this year. 100%. Get that white boy out of here. He does not know what he was doing. He looked like a banker. Maybe he was good with the contracts, but that man knew nothing about basketball. And we got Terrence Ross, which I mean, he cool. You know, I like Terrence Ross, but it's just like, I don't I don't think that was a good time to trade Ibaka. Ibaka was having like the best season in his career. He was having record numbers. He had his career high in points. I mean, Terrence be scoring a lot, but he not consistent. Terrence be like missing like 20 shots, but he'll get like 20 points. And don't get me wrong, it, 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 when you get 20 points, it's good. But it's not like the old days in the NBA where you could miss shots because the defense was like not, you know, not as, as it is now. You know, it's not that. You gotta kind of produce, you gotta be efficient. You know, that's one of the one things that we can't do. We can't be efficient. And when we are efficient, it's when we got some whack ass consistency. And it's not even a coach's fault. Stan Van Gundy was a good coach. Uh, Jock Vaughn, he came. He was a rookie, but I felt like he had some potential. He was cool. He laid back coach, something that they needed. Uh, Scott Skiles, I thought, was a really good coach, too. And I don't know why he left. But Frank Vogel was a good coach. And honestly, Frank Vogel, if you listen to this, my heart goes out to you because you have like a, you had a 60% win record for your career with the Pacers. And imagine just about to fuck that shit up. So, Frank Vogel, if you listen to this, about that whole career winning record thing, you better go on the name of man. I'm sorry about that. I, I, my heart goes out to you. And I saw an article that said Alfred Payton was, it was, it was something along the lines like a slow, like, like not what the magic had developed. And let me tell you something right now. Alfred Payton has exceeded all our expectations. Shit, Alfred Payton and Nick Vucevic, the only two consistent guys that have been shit out there. I don't know what the hell. Ever since that hand injury, whatever happened to Evan Fournier, I don't know what the hell happened to Aaron Gordon this year. I, I don't know. I don't know. Mario Hazonia turning out to be like Andrew. Honestly, I would rather have Andrew Nicholson over Hazonia. That listen, that dude had experience. I don't know me wrong. I thought he was honestly gonna be good. He had experience. He's a good shooter. He's tall. He's got height advantage. If that dude could just get his shot, we would be honestly pretty okay. That dude, he is. I'm sorry, he's just garbage. He's literally like straight garbage. Like, 
Kim, Steven Zimmerman. Uh, shit, what's his name? What's his name? He's playing better. Damien Bruda has been playing better than him. I don't know, Damien Bruda. He just looked weird. Now, I'm not calling Damon Rude as ugly, because let me tell you something, I'm, a, I'm ugly too, so it's like, you know, I can't, I can't say nothing about that. I'm just, I'm just saying, I don't know, it's like, it just, it just bothers me, it just bothers me. But my heart goes out to Frank Vogel. It's not his fault either. Frank, when you, I don't know Frank got, I saw in a press conference, Frank Vogel about his kids and that. Frank, listen, if you tell your kids I would be, I used to be a winning coach, but then I came to Magic, listen, listen, I support you 100%. I... At the same time, as much as I need to, I, I, I love to support my team. I know they're false. I'm not going to. I'm not going to admit that a person and a team don't play false. And let me tell you something. I would look hella dumb if I didn't say the magic didn't have false. <laughs> I would look hella dumb. So my heart goes out. Actually, I'll be back, bro. We'll be back. You don't know what madness is about to happen. If I upload this before the before the series ends, which I probably won't, um, let me know. Both Celtics. Also, let me know y'all prediction. I know it's not March, but that doesn't mean we can't make predictions. So let's make some predictions. Okay, give me some brackets. Give me some playoff brackets. I want to see what we think. 